affiliated or involved in either party and that most of these clips are mine, about 45 of them out of the 63. And the pictures that I posted that are not for me, I got off of Facebook. I felt they were important because they're places that I go to all the time, that I pass by, they're a part of my life. I'm doing my voiceover on January 21st, 2020. The protests are still going, but since they've died down, I decided to make this video. I've been taking pictures since, uh, since it started. I'll do my best to caption each location. Everybody was trying to leave because a protest just came and actually there was people putting bombs in places in that part so we walked by a bomb and didn't even know it and here in Marina Cove marketplace people were mostly buying like the bread and all the rice and stuff just trying to stock up but um, the next scene where I'm in Diamond Hill, I footage in Diamond Hill, and um, I went to inside the theater, everything was peaceful, there was some small protests, and then when we got out and everything was smashed up. I mean, before that happened, though, there were some people in the mall chanting, but it wasn't really a big thing. And then, got yeah, right here. And then we tried to get out of there, we couldn't get out of there, so we had to walk through everybody, and they're like tearing bricks, you know, out of the road, and out of places and blocking the road and there was like this little fire thing and smoke everywhere oh man and my wife at the time she was pregnant too so i was like oh man and started throwing bricks in the street to, to i guess block the cops or whatever smashed out all the lights at the park right there and then they wrote if we burn you burn and right here this is the inside of the bus terminal right next to the MTR where they have the linen wall and all the posters and stuff.
that I took of the graffiti they were writing all around Hong Kong. This is inside the MTR Choi Hong and there's like someone protesting like like kind of preaching to a bunch of people inside the MTR well, after they just got done graffitiing in the area. And then this is Kowloon Tong. Someone was graffitiing but he had press with him while he was writing on the wall and they were taking pictures of him. And they, I don't know, people are just really trying to get out of there right here. And this photo, I believe, is before the protests was really anything when it was just people marching and protesting before it got more into, I don't know, more destructive, I guess. And this ATM right here was my ATM I always used. It got all smashed up. I couldn't use it for a while. Starbucks got boarded up too. On my Christmas tree this set. Now I took a picture with this guy because, not because I'm part of the protest, just because I thought he looked like me a little bit, so I wanted to take a picture with him. And then, you know, you see this, these type of posters, and this was, actually looked like they put a lot of work into making this one. You see this around a lot, the city a lot too. So that concludes the protest, my experience from the protest, but now we have something new coming out, out here. Let's see how this goes. in the district I live in for the virus, for the coronavirus. Alright guys, Sycom Sy district.